Hey guys, it's Kez, and we are back in Princess Maker 2. <laughs> if I sound nervous, it's because I need to increase this by 80 points to, um, to get the ending that I want. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do... Oh god. <laughs> is send her to a restaurant to work, and I'm going to send her to... I guess fighting, because I can actually afford that course. Oh dear. Uh, and it looks like fighting will improve her combat defense only if she reaches the adept level. Okay, never mind. We'll just send her to school. Shit. <laughs> uh, no, we'll send her to work at the restaurant so that I can actually afford to send her to fencing school, and then we'll give her some time off. Uh. I'm not a happy camper. <laughs> Valkyria, maybe you could come over here and give me a hand again? That'd be great. Uh. Okay, and uh, actually, I just had an idea. Uh, I'm gonna go into town, go to the pawn shop. And let's go ahead and sell these books that we aren't using. So, you know, these poetry books can go... There we go. Her refinement is hopeless. We'll just get rid of this teacup. And we'll sell this book. There we go. I don't think her stats can go any lower than zero, so... Yeah, her intelligence is zero. Which is whatever. Yeah, I think it already was. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and schedule some schooling for her in fencing. And in fighting. Give her some time off. May, June, July, August. So... I don't have a lot of time left with her anyway. Okay. And her combat attack is gonna keep climbing, which is good. And I'm going to do what I can with her combat skill. Hi, Bon Bon Bizarro. Let's challenge him, because even if we lose, uh, it's not like she can lose any fighting reputation. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're going to try attacking. It doesn't work. Uh, now we're going to try magic. Oh right, she's stupid, so she can't cast magic. Oh no, it's gonna be that fight with Mia and everyone else all over again. You can just light on your weapon now, honey. Uh, that'd be okay. Uh, oh well. Uh. Here we go. Her combat defense isn't going to go up unless she makes it to the next level of this course, but I don't think she's ever going to get there at this rate. Let's just take a look. Okay, so we still have 60 points left to go. We'll just schedule some work for her at the restaurant. I hate doing that. Or actually, no. We can afford to send her to fighting school twice this month. Okay, we'll give her some time off. Use the schedule. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm just ugh, right now. You know? No, no pocket money. Okay. June. This still needs to go up by 40 points. And I think she has the best equipment I can give her. Oh, why is it so hard to get these part-time endings? Taylor, can that do anything? 
No. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. Well, let's just. Fuck. We'll send her to school. In fighting. Send her to school in fighting. Give her some time off for free. Oh. I could have done this so much better. If this particular way to get endings actually works, that is having your uh, reputation set at a- your highest reputation set at a certain level, and having them all within about 50 points of each other, you know, that thing I was trying to talk about? If that works, then I guess we can try again, but I, it's still just driving me nuts that <laughs> this is so hard to do. Oh, look at that! It's so close, and yet... Man... Schedule some work for her, I guess. In hunting? Cause, let's see. Hunting improves her combat skill. Give her some time off. Use a schedule, and this is last month! Is her combat skill gonna go up at all? Not really. <laughs> Not enough, anyway. This just breaks my heart. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. No, no pocket money. Well, she's 18! What can we buy? Here, you can have this. And we have nine gold left. Today is a fateful day. She's turned 18 and she's not gonna be a chef, is she? Nope! <laughs> okay, schedule. Oh man. This has been an emotional roller coaster going through all this and having her probably turn out to just be an ordinary housewife. We'll try again! I'm gonna play again probably on my own time and try out this, um, I guess, style of trying to get a particular ending and see if it works, but. Ugh. Father, thank you for raising me and caring for me for so long. It's due to your guidance that I've grown up so healthy. When I look back on the time I spent with you, above all else, practicing sword fighting comes to mind. Something I didn't, or sometimes I didn't like at the time, but now I think about it fondly. Another good memory is working part time. I don't think any of the other girls worked as enthusiastically as I did. Balbon from the restaurant seemed to really count on me. It was almost as though he couldn't get along without me. Blah blah blah. Became confident in the kitchen. 18 years old, when a girl must leave the nest and strike out on her own, what path will Anne choose for herself? Mistress, what kind of work do you want to do now that you've grown up? Hmm, I want to become a beautiful bride. Oh, what a cute thing to say. Therefore, instead of getting a job, I think I'd like to train in homemaking. I'll help out around the house until I can find a good man, okay? I see. I'm behind you all the way. Damn it! <laughs> I was shooting for a chef, like, for real this time. Oh man, I can't even freaking save this, like, picture. Because I already have a housewife daughter. I can't even make, like, oh, just like her mom jokes, because now I have a part-time job. <laughs> ah! Oh man, my heart's breaking. <laughs> uh. Well, I guess... We'll try for some other ending next time. Uh, I'm gonna look through the guide and see what endings there are. I still gotta try to get a lumberjack. Now I'm gonna try to get a chef or cook or whatever they call it in this game. And then 
Let's see, someone requested the Married to Cube ending, which I'm gonna try to do one of these days. Uh, there's the Marrying the Prince ending. Because you have to remember, in this game, there are three endings. There's the marriage ending, the job ending, and... No, maybe there are only two types of endings. Just the marriage and the job. So, and spend her time learning to someday become a good wife. Too bad, but that is at least some kind of life. It is. At least she's not a prostitute. <laughs> that said, someone else also requested the prostitute ending. Your daughter's happy in marriage, blah blah blah. She doesn't have any maternal instincts. Your daughter Anne came from the heavens, but now she is smeared with the dirt of the mortal world. <laughs> She has lost her radiance she once possessed as a child. Well, you had to put it that way. This may be her destiny, but still it is sad. Maybe I was wrong to entrust her to your care. I tried. I tried to make her, like, a chef at least. Or a cook. A line cook would have, you know, been an occupation at least. And Twitch, blood type B, born under Mercury. Let's see, she's 63 inches taller. Or tall. She's an inch taller than I am. <laughs> uh, blah blah blah. Here's all of her stats. Her fighter reputation was so close and yet we still didn't do it. She took fencing more often. She worked at the restaurant most often. She only has 13 maternal instincts and her relationship with the butler, Cube, was only 12. I got a pretty low score on 47. Man. Farewell, this father and daughter will be remembered on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, um, you guys have already seen these credits, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. Anyways, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that I could play or endings that I could try to get, or just if you guys just want to call me a dirtbag who did a bad job of trying to raise a chef, you can do that in the comments below. Anyways, bye! Love you!